Welcome back, Trader Snackers and Truthers. Silver Goldman here. We're Tuesday, April the 10th, 2018. All right, so this is a follow-up video to JSNIP4's 1 billion Teta, Teta, however, you know what token I'm speaking about. You can see the name there. You say tomato, I say tomato. Uh, we both know what we're eating, right? The pump and dump reveal part one video was taken down and it was hit with a copyright strike. That's right. Snippy's back out here trying to knock down my backup channel. That's how much of an in fact effect we're having here. Let, just look at the numbers. The numbers don't lie. And right on Social Blade, you can see his uh, descent on a daily basis. So another thing I was mentioning in that last video is, is that I had, you know, a person here who was sending me uh, JSNIP4 Trader Boss's trade calls as they happen on Telegram. And I was willing to use them in court to prove that Snippy's nothing but a pumper. Well, this video, for those of you that have participated in the trade calls, JSNIP4's trade calls, Trader Boss's trade calls, and you've lost shitloads of money, well, this is the type of information that you're going to want to share in your complaint to the Securities and Exchange Commission and the CFTC. So uh, this is a, just a quick little rundown because I actually have somebody here, um, a tech guy working on the rigs, the mining rigs. So I have to make a quick little video. He's stepped out for lunch. Um, other than that, um, I, I'll make another video on this, but I just want to share with you that it's not just the one person. I, this is a new person that just showed up today and he's willing to provide some evidence. In fact, he's even dug up some information, connected the dots on this and realized, you know, this is what's going on. On February 22nd, he bought these 496k uh, Teta, Teta, however you want to say tokens. They were bought around 9 cents. He says they're an absolute match to his Ethereum address, Trader Boss dumped a grand total of around 20, 200,000 K of Teta tokens, Teta, however you want to say it, and smaller amounts not to disturb the market. He got that right. That's what it's all about, not to disturb the market, right? That's why I made a point in the last video, there was an ascending triangle. That thing had double topped. The trader boss was watching it and he was putting the call out on March the 5th. Just wait here. We'll get into this. This is very important. Those of you that think I'm nuts, uh, what's the other comment? You, you got a, a man crush? No, 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 take that gay stuff out of my comments, please. This is not a man crush. This is fraud that's being committed on YouTube. And I'll share with you at the end of the video, another person who I called out years ago, two years ago, made a video on this guy, two and a half years ago. Long story short, at the end, you can see here, he says, you know, he says um, he did keep a few coins. He also made a killing. And by the way, that's his first figures where he's saying that he made around 10K. I'll share with you the next email he just sent me. He says, no one else, part of the trade calls, would be able to make only JSNIP and Trader Boss. And I added in red along with Michelle White Dove. Remember, she participated in this pump. What a coincidence the trader boss would front load the Teta token and then turn around and have it pumped by Michelle White Dove. I hope you guys understand what's going on here. Snippy is screwing all of his traders, all of them. The guy asked me, is this a crime? Absolutely. Like I said, this is a big crime. I'll share with you guys this information. I, I've made videos on this before on my connecting dots too, but I want to share with you the next email the guy sent me because he got a little more in depth at this point. He pulled out the real numbers and he, he's asking you and he's asking me, check my numbers, see if I'm right. You can see he, he linked up the purchase of the tokens with his Ethereum address. Trader Boss went in there and bought those around nine cents. Snippy comes out and pumps the tokens. They rise all the way up to 21 cents, 24 cents. And they underline in red, he says, guess who's selling 150K to 200K on our Teta, Teta, however you want to say it, tokens. It was him, Trader Boss. He didn't sell them all at once. He sold a few thousand tokens per instance, not to disturb the price of the token all that much with all that much with any one sale, any one sale, a single sale. Of course, if you dump that many, it would have caused a big capitulation. But I think he did it anyways, because I shared with you guys the chart what took place after he made the call on March 5th on his Telegram, telling all the traders that he bought $85,000 worth of tokens, Teta, Teta, however you want to say it.
We all know which one it is. And that's why he's saying, so do the math. It works out like this. They purchased together around 750,000 of these Tata tokens, around nine cents. They pump the value off, sell roughly 175,000 at 21 piece. That makes them about $21,000 right there. Quick in and out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michelle White Dove. And we don't know Michelle White Dove's address. I, I'm, I'm like I said, I got to do make another video on this. And this is the type of information you want to send along with your complaint, so the Securities and Exchange Commission can track down these people. And in, in the complaint that you send, you need to send Trader Boss's Ethereum address. You need to send Snippy's Ethereum address. We'll do some snipping around, some digging around. We'll find Michelle White Dove's Ethereum address. And there's also, what's that McGrath girl who's pumping, working with Trader Boss? She's part of the fraud also. These guys are working together to scam people. So yeah, now he has the rest of these tokens that are cost around nine cents. Good thing, because we'll take a look at the charts. We'll see where she is right now. Meanwhile, the very best that most of the trade call and most of or Snippy, Snippy's followers could do in a position of purchasing, a token, of purchasing the tokens at a price of around 15 to 21 cents. Remember, this is after Snippy made the call. That's the earliest you guys could have got in. This is a, They're frauding. They're scamming people. Absolutely scamming people. So... 22nd is when he, he started buying them. And I drew the line there because that was kind of like the bottom. Even at this point, he's still up. Or 10 cents today. Did, did he still have them? I pointed out on March the 5th, right there, is when he put the telegram call out telling everyone that he bought $85,000 of, of uh, sorry, cashed out $85,000 of Ethereum and he bought $85,000 of Teta Teta. This is a pump and dump. So, I made a video about this. This is on my backup channel here. And I've told people before, when you subscribe, make sure you, you click the bell if you want to stay update, updated or notified of my new uploads. And I may end up having to come here and change this, my connecting dots too. As I said, this is my backup channel. I may have to change it to Silver Goldman because Snippy's he's putting it to me, guys. You have to understand, I'm calling him out. There's people joining up, providing the evidence. He knows there's already a bunch of uh, files, uh, complaints, I mean, filed at this Securities and Exchange Commission and the CFTC. And now with the Teta, Teta, holy shit, you can see how they're in troubled water. So I, they may continue on. I, I believe they'll try to take my channel down. So I may end up here. You may want to subscribe to this channel. It's a backup channel, but there's a shitload of people here. I can start using this one. Anyways, on that channel, if you go check it out in the uh, search bar, you enter the name Nate Misho. You'll notice I covered a story here a little over two years ago. And Nate Misho, he's still up and running. That's why even though these people get caught with fraud, Snippy must have done his research. Oh, so what? I'll just pay the damn fine and I keep on rocking and rolling. Because Nate Michaud is still up and at it right to this day. This is a story here from 2012. Mike Good, oddly enough, Mike Good, you end up after end up going after him. It's long story short. I don't want to get into that, Mike Goody, but it's kind of odd to have Mike going after him. Michael, I should say. Nathan Michaud, a prominent penny, penny stock trader, has settled with the Securities and Exchange Commission regarding a civil uh, suit filed with his SEC in May 2009 regarding a pump and dump that occurred in the stock of Asia Global. August 2006 until February 2007. Michaud was also known online as Investors Live. He ended up having to pay, what? $93,000 to the Securities and Exchange Commission. He's part of Investors Hub. Many of you guys may have heard of Investors Hub on YouTube. I always warn everyone, stay away from these people. They're frauds. They, they know how they got caught up the last times. Now they take the precautions to make sure they don't get caught. They open up fake accounts. They get their friends to trade for them. Whatever the case is, they won't get caught again. Okay? So be careful. And, uh, yeah, we're having an impact. I'm not going to stop. I want to thank you guys for sending me all the information on Snippy and all of his... Uh, activities so if you have anything else uh, please don't be shy send it to me i'm going to keep exposing this fraud and those of you that have been scammed with this uh, teta teta coin you have the opportunity now to fight